I should have started smoking. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now she's missing. Alice? Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Do you guys... Are, are we going to be able to beat... Hold on. Are we going to be able to beat this before... The tournament? Nah, fuck it. Let's just keep going. I can, I can cut it at one point. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. 30 years ago? How fucking old am I? Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. What the fuck? I. <laughs> Did I just like die to a chair? I thought that's what she meant by my desk. This must not be my uh, office. Bet this is my office. The man cave. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Leather couch. These look really good. Oh, sure. Until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, okay. will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Calm down. Alan! I'm, calm down. I'm scanning a QR code. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please, hurry! Huh, turns out this isn't too bad, even if you're not sitting on a couch when you play it. Who knew? It is a reference to Microsoft and Remedy statement regarding a PC version of Alan Wake. I really don't like this, Alan. Please hurry. Alan! I really Shh, calm the fuck myself. down, Alice. I swear to fucking God. You asked me to go examine some shit. The fall of Casey. The things that want... Alex Casey. Check the fuse box. What I can't it's forget, return to sender. So this is before that other book was written. Check the fuse box. Who the fuck has the fuse box next to the front? Honey, door, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Oh, she's she's like parent. Oh, she has like a. Hi. You okay? Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the most unsettling just, high. It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just, just shine it right in her eyes. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. So Alan. this is the... <laughs> Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, Ryder boy. This is the you basis made that for up this... right now, didn't you? No, no. no. story. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. <laughs> well, my girl Thanks is scared. This. I just shot a big-ass flash light in her face. Your fuse box is right next to your front door? Dude, this dude's getting... Dude. <laughs> hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Uh -huh. Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? <laughs> yes! Yo, Weeza, okay. dude! My head's fine. I had how are to you doing? I had memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. Cheers! I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't Hell think yeah. you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy. Portland? For a days. Dope. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. You 
if the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. Before I, like, I'll really leave this air, I'll take a dab or something Sarah, for you. Uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Oh, wow. All right. Time to go talk to the sheriff. See if she can help us find the wife. All these missing people. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Every Knack for winning contests. That's an identifying feature. Disappeared on 620. On a camping trip overdue, I haven't been in contact. If you've seen them or know their whereabouts, please call. This might be some of the people in the woods. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Thanks. Have you started looking for my wife oh, yet? Oh, shit. My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. <laughs> How about you tell her about when you woke up, up in the car? Excuse me. Horizon. I need to take this. Hello? Verizon Alice, batteries on stage charge. Help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't Mr. Do Wake, can I help you pal. with anything? We're watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. <laughs> of course, Mr. Wake. You can <laughs> this dude wants to get me to Lover's Peak at midnight. Maybe it's the swinger from the boat. It's the swinger from the boat. I'm at Stucky gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, hey, we've located the brake plug. It's here. It. That's some good news, right? Be alone Stop, in we're here. supposed to be driving it at the hey. rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. James out. I'm trying to find Stucky. I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. Hey, 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 mister. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. <laughs> Don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. <laughs> sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. That's so funny. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. I only look like him. You want to know who it really was? I'll tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounds like... He had to fight one of the... the drunk would say, but he had to fight one of the shadow me. guys. I wasn't drunk. Can I turn the TV on? I told him, yeah, well, I don't hear what the TV on your feet. I don't The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Quick, 
Hey there, folks. It's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for you to sign I like listening to exposition in this. I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Shots fired. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting. The big day is almost here, but let's go, Buck Festival. Let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition. Huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Yeah, this is some pick shit. <coughs> God, that was a little aggressive. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow, ow, thank God, where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick, I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me, I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. <laughs> this, this, this is literally a Stephen King novel. I, 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 can somebody look up and see if like Stephen King wrote the story for this game? Or some shit? I'm just curious. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Marvelous. I'm acting out my own. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins <laughs> at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing <laughs> your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... <gasps> Whoa, what the fuck? This- Whoa! Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler! I'm Is Barry it? Wheeler! It's me! If if it's me, fucking Barry Wheeler! Wheeler. To me. And who the you fuck is this fucking Yahoo? My lawyer's on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm alright. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Let's go, Barry Wheeler. <laughs> Sounds I like Joey. He's like, I told oh, you Alan. He oh, you. But when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, seems he didn't write it with writer's inspiration. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I haven't read I much of Stephen King's writing myself, but I've like, seen a lot of like, adaptations. Somewhere in Elderwood National Park. Like the, the plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Uh, hey, I'm Barry Wheeler. I know Alan Wake. You want a uh, uh, shamooze? You want a shamoozy? What an airhead. You want a shamoozy or a milkshake? Because I'll bring this my boys to the yard. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. 
She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy? And his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. <laughs> when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. All right, wait here. Wait here. All right. Where the fuck is Rusty? And you're just going to wait... Okay, Rusty's gutting an animal. Easy there, boy. Oh, no. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Oh, Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Bucktooth Charlie. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Fucking pricks. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. The what skeleton? Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, jeez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. It's uh -huh, working. Let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Fuck off, Barry. I'm gonna go get my wife. But first, I'm gonna go into the kitchen and see if there's a collectible thermos. Time to go get my wife. over the form I think this is the form you wanted and here are the keys okay you're all set mr. wake glad to have you staying here thanks can you tell me how to get to lovers peak oh sure it's at the end of the nature trail just follow the paths you'll get to it eventually it's an easy walk nice spot too all right if you have any trouble finding it just keep your eyes on the radio mast it's right below yeah that. Barry is oh and hey if you take a walk in the woods that park watch your drip. steps so you don't end up like Max I guess <coughs> I'm a little worried we got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from it's not like these people are on a schedule but with the traps well you know I just don't want any trouble right thanks <laughs> You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, <laughs> a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up true. sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you There's to come a lot here, of Barry. long Either conversations. Work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. 